What subject are you teaching? I teach TLE 9, food processing, and TLE 10, bread and pastry. What are the different methods or strategies you have used in teaching the subject? The methods or strategies that I commonly used in teaching the cookery subject are 1. Demonstration. The teacher demonstrates cooking techniques, recipes, and procedures while explaining the steps and providing commentary. This method allows students to observe and learn from the instructor's expertise. 2. Hands-on practical sessions. Students actively participate in cooking activities by following recipes, preparing ingredients, and executing cooking techniques under the guidance of the teacher. This approach emphasizes experiential learning and allows students to develop their culinary skills. 3. Group work and collaborative learning. Students work in small groups to complete cooking tasks. This method encourages teamwork, communication, and the sharing of ideas and responsibilities. It also promotes peer learning and problem-solving skills. What do you think is the best and appropriate teaching method or strategies to use in teaching the subject? Why? For me, hands-on practical sessions and group work collaborative learning are considered the best and most appropriate methods in teaching cookery for several reasons. 1. Active engagement. Hands-on practical sessions actively engage students in the cooking process, allowing them to develop and apply culinary skills firsthand. This practical experience enhances their understanding and proficiency in cooking techniques, recipe execution, and ingredient handling. 2. Skill development. By actively participating in cooking activities, students have the opportunity to practice and refine their culinary skills. They can learn from their mistakes, receive immediate feedback from instructors or peers, and gradually improve their cooking abilities. 3. Teamwork and communication. Group work and collaborative learning promote teamwork and effective communication among students. They learn to work together, delegate tasks, and solve problems collectively. These skills are essential in a professional kitchen environment, where collaboration and effective communication are highly valued. 4. Peer learning. Collaborative learning allows students to learn from one another's experiences and knowledge. They can share tips, techniques, and recipe variations, fostering a sense of community and mutual support. Peer learning encourages active participation and can deepen the understanding of culinary concepts. 5. Creativity and innovation. When students work collaboratively, they can share ideas, experiment with flavors, and explore culinary creativity. Group work encourages students to think outside the box, try new techniques, and develop innovative culinary creations. Overall, Hands-on practical sessions and group work collaborative learning provide a more immersive, interactive, and realistic learning experience in cookery education. These methods not only develop culinary skills but also foster teamwork, communication, creativity, and problem-solving abilities that are vital for success in the culinary industry. What are the most common assessment practices you have used in evaluating the student's performance or level of learning in the subject you are teaching? I commonly use paper and pencil assessments, sometimes demonstration or performance activities. What are the problems you encountered in teaching the subject? None, but sometimes the most common problems I encountered is the lack of facilities and equipment use in teaching, also lack of students' material. How were you able to solve the problem? I used alternatives like downloading learners' material on DEPED portal and other educational websites and I provided some tools or equipment for the students. Do you have bad experience in teaching home economics? If yes, please elaborate. None. What advice can you give to other teachers teaching home economics? Equip ourselves with skills and knowledge that we can share to our learners. The best teacher teaches from the heart, not from the book.